if you live in the Rochester Hills area, you have probably experienced the traffic backups along Adams Road near Oakland University. That specific stretch of a two lane road between Hamlin and Walton. Well, it could look a lot different soon. Before that, though, the Road Commission wants to actually hear from you. Let's get out to Priya, who's live in Rochester Hills this morning. And Priya, there are five options on the table for this. Yeah, that's right, Jason Rhonda. Good morning. You know, you could either have more lanes, you could have some roundabouts. There's a lot of options to consider. But first, let me set the scene for you. So this is Adams Road right here. You've got Oakland University over there. Obviously, it attracts a lot of drivers. And then on this side, you've got a lot of homeowners and their property lines have to be considered if you're going to be expanding the lanes here. So we literally just started talking to folks who live in this area, showing them my phone, showing them the options on it and getting their take. It needs to be done because there's so much traffic. Jacqueline Pettit's dad lives on Adams Road between Hamlin and Walton Boulevard in Rochester Hills. 21,000 cars use the corridor every day, which the Road Commission says is a lot for a two-lane road. A new study is looking for public comment on five design alternatives. Option one is no build. Option two, reconstruct as a three-lane road with a continuous center left turn lane. Option three, same as option two, with roundabouts at major intersections. Option four, reconstruct as a five-lane road with two through lanes in each direction at a continuous center left turn lane. And option five, reconstruct as a four-lane boulevard with a center median. We showed local four viewers the list to get their take. I probably would just keep it as is. Really? So no build? I mean, that is one of the options. Yeah. I, so. Three lane with a, with a continuous center left turn. Yeah. Do you like the one with the roundabouts or no? Uh, no. The Road Commission says traffic congestion and crashes are the biggest issues. Oakland University is also right there, and many drivers use Adams Road to get to nearby I-75 and M-59. I understand why, because there's a lot of through traffic. Yeah. But I do think it would be challenging. I'm sure a lot of residents would not be happy to give up part of their land for the road expansion, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's no dollar amount, engineering work, or time frame yet. The Road Commission first wants to hear from you. Public comments will be accepted through August 1st. It's going to affect people's homes and people's commutes to work or for recreation or errands. So I think it's probably important to ask what, the, what people think. And this is certainly a busy thoroughfare, of course, as the morning continues, traffic volumes will pick up. We've got a link up on clickondetroit.com so that you can make your voices heard about which option of the five that you like. And again, you have through August 1st. Reporting live in Rochester Hills, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.